Jets is the name of the offshore jet ski world championships. The event is staged every year in the French Caribbean island of Guadeloupe. It was dreamed up in 1998 by some Guadeloupian jet ski fanatics. Jet ski arrived in Guadeloupe in the middle of the 90s. With some friends, we thought it would be fun to have a ride around the island. We enjoyed it so much, we decided to do it every year. Then we thought it would be great to invite some overseas friends to join us for the ride. And that's how the Carajet race was born. Since then, the baby gets bigger and bigger every year. In 2008, the race registered at the annual calendar of the Rallyjet UIM World Championships. The Carajet is a four-day offshore stage race around the island of Guadeloupe. This year, 142 riders took part in three categories. Pro World Championship, the Amateur Race, and the arm jet race. It's the race of the season. It's the first competition of the year, so everybody wants to be here in order to fight for the victory. It's the first show for all the new machines that the drivers and their teams have prepared over a few months in order to be the best and quickest possible. For those who really love jet skiing, the drivers and the technical crew, it's really an incredible adventure. It's like the Dakar of jet ski. The VR beach is always the headquarters of the race. Organizers prepare the beach over two weeks. There's a five hectare surface of supporters and racing. It's also a big party. About 300 people work around the event. We hire 30 local companies in order to organize the carriage yet. We have a global budget of 550,000 euros. We have around 60,000 spectators over the four days. Well, the machines are really like the Formula One of jet ski. They pump out up to 340 horsepower move it up to 125 kilometers an hour. The world's top jet skiers are here. And the Carajet is a real highlight of their season. Teddy Pons won the world championship last year. Honestly, for me, it's the world's most difficult race. We enjoy the fact that it's a big tussle with the other competitors. We also love the Caribbean atmosphere, the heat, the changing seas. Sometimes we have big waves or sometimes it's completely flat. It's never knowing what you're going to get is what we enjoy about the Carajet. The Carajet is an adventure in itself. The drivers have to cover 600 kilometers in four days on wild seas. To win, you need everything to work perfectly. You need to be physically fit, to have a good machine, to navigate without making any mistakes. And of course, you need to be lucky. You need to be very lucky. The 2012 Carajet lived up to the hype. After four days of racing, the winner was the local hero, Davy Veitlington. Big satisfaction for the local and regional authorities, who were the main funders of the race. It's a manifestation very important for us. Carajet's very important for us. We support the race financially. This year we sponsored a team for the first time. I'm happy that they brought us the victory. It was a team from the Guadeloupe region, so it's just a perfect outcome for us. It was Davy Vaitlington's second victory at the Carajet. He also won the World Championship there in 2007. I'm massively satisfied because it was a really tough race with demanding sea conditions. We were well prepared physically and technically. I'm happy that the final podium of the Carajet is 100% Guadeloupian. It shows the world that jet skiing can be at a very high level. The Carajet is the only world championship hosted in Guadeloupe, all sports considered. It's a perfect tool for showcasing the beauty of the island. 
We used to say that Guadeloupe is paradise on earth, and it's a paradise that everybody has to visit. We have a welcoming people who are ready to show you the island's jewels. You can come here to train, to participate in a championship like the Carajet. I believe this event is very important in order to tell people, come and see and enjoy Guadeloupe. For its next edition, the Carajet aims to reach another level entirely by attracting more overseas champions. It's a race that's going from strength to strength. <laughs>